Mom and dad never went to the market to buy meat, yet there was meat in the house every day. Jack was puzzled by this. He asked his father where the meat came from, but his father didn't say anything. Instead, he took him to bed and put him to sleep, but Jack lay awake for an hour and couldn't fall asleep because his father sent him to bed early every day. Then he went to work in the basement. He guessed that the basement must be hiding a secret to find out what was going on. Daring Jack went downstairs to check it out. Then he ran into his mother whose mouth was red. His mother hurriedly took Jack upstairs. She told him to get some sleep, but Jack lay in bed for a long time without falling asleep. The next day, his father brought Jack a beef burger early in the morning, but Jack couldn't eat it. When he arrived at school, he told his teacher about the meat he ate at home every day. The teacher didn't believe him. In class, the teacher asked the students to draw pictures of their parents. But when the teacher saw the picture Jack had drawn of his parents, Jack's mother was called to school. When confronted by the teacher, the mother didn't say anything too much. She just said that her family liked meat. At night when he was sleeping, Jack suddenly heard footsteps outside. He slowly went to check on them. To his surprise, he found his parents eating meat in the fridge. He was so frightened that he went to bed. But the moment he got into bed, his bed instantly turns into a puddle of tomato juice. Luckily, it was just a dream. The next day his mother brought out a steak for Jack to eat. But Jack couldn't eat it at all. Family must eat meat for every meal. But they never go to the market to buy meat. Looking at the meat from an unknown source, Jack was hesitant to eat it. Because his father who was a mortician. He sent him to bed early every day. Then he went to work in the basement. He suspected that his parents' secrets were hidden in the basement. To find out the truth, that day, when his father was not at home, he sneaked into the morgue to check it out. But no sooner had he entered, his father came up from behind with a bag. Jack was so scared that he couldn't even breathe. Just as his father took out the bag and was about to operate it, the scalpel suddenly fell to the floor and Jack was so frightened that he picked it up and fled when his father wasn't looking. Jack was too frightened to go home. While Jack was thinking about where to rest for the night, his father's car slowly drove up behind him. Jack had no choice but to pretend he didn't know. He followed his father to the car. Looking at the white bag on his father's back seat, Jack tried to reach out and touch it, but he was stopped by his father. When they got home, mother began to question why the two of them were home so late. The father asked the mother to carry something to the car. The mother understood instantly. The family was enjoying the evening, but Jack had no appetite for the meat. Just then the scalpel Jack was carrying suddenly fell to the floor. Jack tried to reach for it but his father beat him to it. His father asks Jack where he got the scalpel. Jack had to explain that he had picked it up on the road. He looked at his father with a fierce look on his face. Jack was so frightened that he pretended to go back to his room to sleep in order to find out what's going on in the basement. While his parents were sleeping. Jack sneaks into the basement again to find out what's going on. The little boy doesn't like to eat meat, but his parents made him eat it every day. To find out what kind of meat his parents' meat was, he took advantage of the darkness of the night. He sneaked down to the basement to see what was going on, because every day when Jack was asleep, his father would sneak into the basement to work. There must be some secret in the basement. And when Jack got to the basement, he found it full of strangers' clothes. He was too frightened to explore further and rushed back to his room. But as soon as he got back to his room, his father was sitting on his bed, with a creepy smile on his face. He hurriedly pulled out his pocket full of snacks. Only then did his father let his guard down. The next day Jack told his teacher what had happened last night. The teacher was shocked to hear that, so she took Jack to his house to check it out. But when they arrived in the basement, it had been cleaned up. As Jack wondered what was going on, a body suddenly fell from the sky. Jack was so frightened that he ran back to his room. Just as the teacher was about to leave the house, Jack's father came back. The teacher was beaten to the ground with a stick. In the evening, his parents were roasting meat in the yard for Jack to eat. The father was knocked unconscious with a stick just as he entered. Unfortunately he ended up being tied up by his father. It was only at this point. It was only then that his father told Jack the truth. Just as his father picked up the knife to feed Jack the meat, Jack took the knife and stabbed him in the side. In his anger. His father tried to finish Jack off, but in the nick of time, the mother managed to save him. The two men then struggled with each other. A minute later they were both dead. The end of the story. Jack runs to his grandparents' house. He thought a happy life was waiting for him, but after seeing the beef burger his grandparents brought him, he was completely devastated.